Hey guys, Nicole Wurzel here with the JG Boswell Company. Let's talk about how much it costs to grow tomatoes. For the first time in a long time, numerous ag commodities are seeing a considerable increase in their market value. The first question you may ask is why? I'm going to briefly share with you today our market research on how and why these conditions exist. As we all know by now, California is entering its third year of drought. This is continuing to decrease the amount of available acreage to farm because regardless of a price a grower can get on any commodity right now, if they don't have enough water to farm the ground, commodity prices don't matter. The endless variable costs that are driving the unprecedented increases in fuel, seed, labor, trucking, the list can go on, can only be mitigated through efficient farming operations. And if those costs weren't enough, growers also have to plan for above average temperatures, few remaining days of precipitation, and questionable reliance on water deliveries from state or federal water systems. This is creating a very unattractive, high risk, and decreasing desire to farm a crop on a suspect return. So what are California farmers growing? And how do they match up with each other? I'm going to show you the economics behind competing crops versus tomatoes. First off, let's look at how wheat and corn silage are performing. We can state conservatively, on average, the current cost to grow wheat silage is around $1,035 per acre, with a typical yield potential of around 22 tons per acre. With that production output, a grower would gross around $1,650 per acre at the current $75 per ton market netting them a return of $615 per acre. Now let's do the same for corn. Right now, corn costs just over $1,660 per acre to farm, with an average yield of around 32 tons per acre. We hear corn farmers are locking in pricing anywhere from $85 to $100 a ton. So, at minimum, a corn farmer is profiting $1,060 per acre. For those farmers that are positioned to double crop, they can profit from both the wheat and corn together and return back to the ranch $1,675 per acre. Another high demand crop that competes for available ground is Pima cotton. Now the cost to grow Pima cotton is higher at around $2,500 per acre because of more agronomic inputs and labor intensity, but still lower risk than tomatoes. If we use an average state yield of 1,500 pounds of lint per acre at the current average price of $3 per pound, the crop will earn $4,500 per acre in revenue. Subtract that from your crop cost and Pima cotton farmers return is around $2,000 per acre back to the ranch. That's a lot of information, but how does it affect tomatoes? The cost to farm tomatoes is around $4,500 per acre in California the most expensive crop out of all the commodities mentioned. If we use the conventional CTGA published price of $105 per ton with an average yield of 50 tons per acre, we arrive at a gross revenue of $5,250 per acre. Subtracting that from the growing cost returns to the ranch approximately $750 per acre. My main objective is to illustrate that if a farmer can spend much less money growing wheat, corn, cotton, or any other crop and return more to the farm, that is what they will do. I hope this has given you a bit more insight on what a farmer looks at each year when determining what to grow and the decisions they need to make. I would like to leave you with this. For the tomato price to be anywhere near competitive to competing crops, as of today, the industry would need to see a price to the grower no less than $130 Per ton for maximum return. However, keep in mind that this price would be just to match competing crops and the risk is the highest when growing tomatoes. Therefore, a premium of over $130 per ton would most likely be required to convince a farmer to grow tomatoes this year. Thank you so much for watching.